I know, I know. I did it all wrong. We should have started with Tame Impala. But, uh... I don't know, I've already- I feel like I've already started the stream with Tame Impala songs that I like, and, uh... Of course it always gets copyright claimed, and you know... Isaac streams are some of those things that I- I kind of would like to have monetization on. Uh, so instead, you know, I mean, is it even better to use... Uh, this is a remix, or a, a, a chip tune by Sneezing Cactus, uh, on YouTube. Uh, is it even better? It's like, oh, wow, look at this YouTuber up in his fucking ivory throne. Being like, oh, I don't want to use copyrighted music because I want to make money, so I'm going to use somebody else's creation. But, I don't know. I've never really heard anybody accuse me of, uh, working off the backs of other people, uh, just because I used the music for overtures. This is kind of a make-up-a-guy situation. Uh, but, yes, welcome everybody. We got some lovely art here from Harry Brusseps, uh, parodying Tame Impala's Currents album. Uh, with little C-section babies. This was from- this is a reference to a build I had a while ago, and this must have taken fucking ages to make. I don't even know how they made this. Whenever I have to make something in Photoshop that has, like, a fuck ton of, like, different objects on it, I end up making, like, a ton of layers, and it ends up being a super, like, laggy file. I'm so bad at using that. Uh, okay. So, uh, thank you, Harry Brusseps. We're just gonna do a little Isaac today. I was actually planning on doing Bickman, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna, coming up soon, we're gonna do a Bickman 269 finale stream, I think, I was kinda planning on doing it today, but I think I'm going to bump it to this Tuesday the 30th, I think, if, uh, if everything goes off without a hitch, but, uh, I, I came up on a complication with the Bickman thing, uh, that will be fixed summarily. It's just a small thing, but I was like, ah, I guess I'll just do Isaac today. Uh, which I've been playing a lot of on Bella's Switch, uh, recently. Uh, yeah, there's not gonna be- I'm sorry, there's no shoe cam today. I have everything all hooked up for Bickman, which means the, uh, GameCube adapter is plugged in, and I kinda didn't feel like tearing it all apart. Uh, shoe is doing very nice. He is sleeping. So, just- Little shoe update, he is sleeping, as he often is during the day. So, uh... We're just gonna do a little casual Isaac run. Isaac and his mother. Mother, his, and Isaac. Uh, for whatever reason on Bella's Switch, she decided to make the save file on file 2. So every time we start up the game, we have to go to file 2, because that's the one that actually has... anything on it. Uh... Here's something that kind of confuses me. Why do I have three save files that seemingly all have stuff on them? Like, this one doesn't have very much completion. But this one seems to have quite a bit of completion. Did I, like, copy over the files or something like that? I don't know. Because you can't do that in-game. You have to do that, like, in the file folders, I'm pretty sure. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, let's just do a run. I have not put any thought into who I will be playing. What about, a uh, Tainted Eden? Tainted Eden's kind of crazy. Yeah, that sounds fun. Could do Tainted Maggie if we wanted to break the game. We could do Tainted Kane if I wanted to take five hours. Yeah, I think we're gonna do, uh, let's do a Tainted Eden run. La, 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 la. Oh, I guess I had, uh, Eden's Blessing earlier. I'm blessed by myself. Oh, cool. Uh, sun, question mark, and the world. I'm just gonna use the world, because we're gonna lose that double card room anyway. Uh, so anybody who isn't up to date on what the different characters in this game do, this is a character that, uh... <laughs> Look at the instructions, that's always moi voi 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 ata. <laughs> Basically, every time I get hit that isn't considered, you know, there I took damage going through the curse room door, but that's considered self damage. Every time I get hit, I uh, completely re roll my build, including, you know, my held item, all my passive items, my active item, my trinket, everything. 
don't think it re-rolls your stats, like, a la the D8, but... <clears throat> Everything else gets rerolled, so that magic mush that I picked up is cool and all, but it only lasts until I get hit. Okay. I think I have, like, all mods turned off, too. Maybe I should turn on fast travel. But I've been living without fast travel for a, a long time now. And on, uh... Ooh. On Bella's save file, I don't know why I said uh to a room full of flies. One of them was too close to me. We are pretty close to getting magic mush, or uh, mega mush, rather. <clears throat> so this would be a perfect place to bomb, of course, if I had one. Someone said I genuinely think Tainted Eden might be the only character wh where the way to beat the game is just to get good. I... I don't know if that's true. What about, like... People, I know there's like, there's always a huge group of people, or not a huge group of people, but a very... I don't know, confident group of people that are like, oh yeah, Tainted Lost, blah 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 blah, I love playing Tainted Lost. And it's like, okay, yeah, I get it, better items, but... You die in one hit. <laughs> like, I... Tainted Eden is at least way easier than Tainted Lost, and, and this is coming from a guy who did all the things. And Tainted Jacob, and I know Tainted Jacob, I... I listen, I'm not saying those characters are, like, impossible or anything. Ooh. But, uh... This character, the strategy is get items. And then if you have a good build, just try really hard not to get hit. And that's like basically it. And there's a certain amount of luck involved, you know? Yeah, I don't know. When like when people say shit like that, it's like, uh-huh. Anyway. <laughs> you know? It's, it's maybe that's a little dismissive of me. But that's that's often my response. To like, oh well I think I like tainted light. And I'm like, uh-huh. Anyway. <laughs> I like that the creep tier from the zit shoots every once in a while, regardless of me uh letting go of the charge of this. Oh now it's not happening. There it goes. Let's just do a Mega Satan. I don't know. And like, yeah, Jacob and Esau... ...of course are... ...hard. Okay, so that card that I was holding turned into a range up pill, which... ...is not... I don't exactly know if... ...pill stat ups carry across rerolls for this character. I think, uh... I might even be able to keep these 99 bombs, which would be kind of awesome. Woohoo! Might as well just bomb it up, baby. Temperance question mark, we do not want. Health down is actually really shitty. Uh... So we'll just hold on to temperance question mark. That's f five random pills that it forces you to take. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> One big thing with this character is health and like Depending on what items you get re-rolled into, you can be left with very little red health. Oh, okay. I will gladly take that. And I will gladly use the pinking shears. Might lose them in this room, anyway. Guys, it was wicked cringe. I submitted, you know, there's that, there's a Twitter account that's like, semi-regular Isaac facts and trivia or something like that. And it's a really cool account, and it's always got really interesting information and really weird little, like, niche interactions in the game and shit that I didn't know about. And I tried to submit a fact to them that I thought I had never seen on there, and they were like, nah, we've done that one before. And I was like, ah, I guess I have to go die now. Damn. Okay. Let's go, oh, wow. Right after I pick up the fucking... Soulheart, I decided to go do the curse room. Would have been better to do it earlier. So we'll see. I kind of forget. It's been a while uh, since I've really focused this character. 
Wow, what a boss. A single two-headed worm. The worm was more difficult than Pin. But with this character, it's like, you know, if you see something on sale in the shop, even if it's a dog shit item. Okay, I do not have fast travel. I might uh, go fix that real quick. Uh, good trip. And I think it will not fuck up my run to just reset here. Oh, that's still up. Isaac jump scare. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Somebody said when you get out nerded about something, it feels like you're getting a bad grade in liking it. Imposter syndrome activated. <laughs> yeah, seriously. The fact that I tried to submit was that uh, those little red bomb dispenser guys that go like bleh, and burp up a little red bomb. Uh, when you kill them, because there's a couple ways to kill them, they spit up like ten bombs in a row. Presumably as a attempt to uh, make sure you don't softlock yourself, because those are some rooms where you can get softlocked. Wow, the game lagged out there. Great. It's dog shit. Okay, I think we're done here. Maybe I should bomb the dono. It's funny, Isabel and I got up to... 99... Uh... I'm not actually going to take Diplopia, though. It's really not that great on this character. We got up to, like, 999 in the Dono Machine. And then... We, uh... We never actually put the thousandth coin in, because that doesn't actually get you anything. There's, there's not actually an unlock for putting in a thousand coins. Just for 999. So we got it all, all the way up to that, and then... We've just been milking it mercilessly ever since, bombing it every single run. Uh, okay. Uh, if somebody said curses are on, uh, you know what? Let's just deal with curses. I've be, I've been dealing with curses so much off stream. Let's just leave them on. Wow, that was convenient. Those other guys blew up a tinted rock too. There is not. Uh, we looked it up and pretty thoroughly analyzed it, and I'm, I'm pretty sure there is not an achievement or an unlock for... Okay, people are saying there is an achievement, not an unlock. Okay, that was that was good shit. Let's just... And of course I could reroll my whole build here, but that barely does anything as this character. <laughs> There's an achievement, but only for the greed machine. Yeah, that's a different machine. We filled that one all the way. That's not the one I'm talking about. Okay, phew. You guys had me worried there for a second. Oh, should I reroll myself? You guys want me to do it? You want me to reroll myself? Come on, let's hear some fucking noise. Huh? You want me to reroll myself? That was my Donald Trump impression. Uh, somebody at one point commented on one of, one of my videos, and it was very flattering. They were like, wow, you know, the, the Fruit Man is normally so great at impersonations and, like, impressions and voices. And then Donald Trump, the one impression that, like, everybody, every white boy has a Donald Trump, right? Literally 100% of white boys on the planet have a Donald Trump impression, and mine is, like, dog shit. And that is genuinely as best as I can do. Like, oh, everybody's face, Donald Trump, oh, I'm Donald Trump. Ooh. See, there's a, uh... A nice little... Random, uh... Ooh. Interesting. Just a pedestal item that will re-roll into something great later, probably. Or, you know, has the potential to roll into something great. China. Ugh, China. Yeah, I just sound like doing a- I'm doing like a Psychic Pebbles impression instead. Okay, so I will take this. It's just another passive item. You just want passive items. Okay, well, you know. 
All this bomb business is very cool. Pyro was a great pickup. Ah, the loach. As Isabel and I refer to it. <clears throat> yeah, and that's funny because Psychic Pebbles has a great Donald Trump impression. It's so true. Uh, Andrew tweeted something out recently. It was like, I don't know much about fucking Ron DeSantis or whatever. I really, like, listen, I know it's like, it's like irresponsible as like an adult to not keep up with the news and keep yourself, you know, abreast of what's happening in politics and shit. But I do not know who Ron DeSantis is really, besides what I've seen people say about him. And I just saw a tweet from Andrew that was like, Ron DeSantis locked up in like a, a stockade and Trump's in front of him and he's like, well, everybody, should I swallow the key? You want me to lock him up and swallow the key? And DeSantis is like, yes, daddy Trump, please, please swallow the key. Thank you. <laughs> That's my only- my only knowledge of who Ron DeSantis is, is from that tweet. Oh yeah, yeah, I-, I whatever guys, shut up. Shut up. No, I'm kidding, but shut up. You want me to swallow the key? Should I swallow the key, everybody? Yeah, there is a point when it's just preserving your own mental health. Yeah, I mean, keeping keeping in line with, like, politics shit is... I don't know how people do that and maintain any level of sanity. Because it's all just depressing all the time. It's, it's not like... It's not like knowing anything about politicians is gonna make anything any better. You know, not to sound too overly doomer... pessimistic, doomer-pilled or whatever. I'm just gonna go in here. Cool. It's like, what the fuck difference is it gonna make? Uh... Alright. Not having the map is, like, one of the most obnoxious curses. I'm just kinda checking all these rooms, just to make sure. And it's like, damn, I can't even fast travel because you need the map to be able to fast travel. Oh! That was kinda cool. We can bomb that other shit out of there if we really want to, or I could just use the thing. Oh, uh, should I should I swallow the key, everybody? <laughs> it was something like DeSantis is like another like conservative pundit who oh three luck ups you say. I wonder if I get to keep those. Uh, tears down. I wonder if I get to keep that. It was like he was a, some conservative pundit and he like dropped out of the race and endorsed Donald Trump after Donald Trump like insulted him like 50 times or something. That's as close to a, an understanding as I have. It's so sad how we've had to like care about Trump for this long. I was so sick of him by, like, the first day, and it was so depressing watching everybody be like, Oh my god, everybody make fun of Trump! Make fun of Trump! And I'm like, this is just gonna mean he actually runs for president. <laughs> like, yeah, you can make fun of him all you want, but that doesn't do anything. Like, you're just, like, making conservatives like him more, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna own Trump! It's like he owns himself every time he opens his mouth, dude. Alright, uh, let's just go. I'm, I'm sick of this floor. DeSantis was trying to use Funk Giga Chad edits to get votes. See, and that's why I don't- that's why I don't watch the news. I- no- no person should ever have to hear that sentence. I heard, uh, it, this might have just been, speaking of news, this is something I just randomly heard, and I was like, oh, that's neat if true, big if true. Aren't they, like, did they develop a cure for malaria? Did I hear that right? On Twitter.com, or was that just complete misinformation? Or is it, like, not really developed yet? Because that'd be pretty poggers. 
Okay, well, sadly the item that's on sale is another active item. Yeah, I did that. They made a malaria vaccine. That's whack if true. Super cool. But we don't, I, the only confirmation I have of that is one Twitch chat member said it was real. Um, options really doesn't do much at all. Okay. This room, man. This room can be so frustrating when you don't have, uh, damage. Because the it's just a bunch of enemies that spawn those dumb little corn flies, and they're always flying around to different hard-to-reach spots in the room, and... I remember Jabroni Mike. I think, like, losing a run in that room and getting ludicrously pissed off, but it was like... I couldn't even blame him, because that room is very frustrating sometimes. Ooh! The belt. That's just more... With this character, you just want to get... Act er, passive item fodder, you know? Hey, my fodder. My fodder was very mean to me. I don't... Cool. Article on the vaccine. All right, let's read it, let's read it. WHO recommends R21 slash Matrix M vaccine for malaria preven prevention in updated advice on immunization. Okay. Let's just uh, scan through here. Key features of the R21 malaria vaccine, high efficacy when given just before the high transmission season. Good efficacy when given an age-based schedule. During the 12 months following the first three doses, a fourth dose a year after the third maintained efficacy. Okay, so it's like, there's a vaccine that already existed. Or that was, no, maybe it was recently. Man, am I really going to read through this gigantic? Here's the thing about source checking is then you have to read the source. Which I feel like I would do if I was not currently streaming The Binding of Isaac. I'm peer-reviewing studies right now. Whack. Okay, anyway, let's let's not let's not get too sidetracked on malaria. But you know, if malaria gets killed, that's pretty poggers. That's pretty poggers. That's poggers, uh. You guys want me to swallow the key? Do you want me to do it? You guys want to talk about Ben Shapiro? Oh, where's, uh, where's Yo Listen? I feel like Yo Listen just darted off, yeah. Hmm. I'll juice. I'm a man who juices. And I'll leave that for now. It's now, oh my god, having fast travel is so hot. I'm so used to having to, like, just tediously walk around. Oh, by the way, guys. Anybody else been playing that new Ace Attorney release? The Apollo Trilogy, like, HD remaster collection came out recently. I am... I just last night finished the first game, Apollo Justice, and now we're working on uh, Dual Destinies. I just started that one, or Isabella and I started that one last night. Pretty fucking poggers. Everybody's saying no. Everybody's saying no, I have not played it. Great. Well, I guess I'll just shut the fuck up. It's awesome, though. I just noticed the zit is making these tears spawn even when I take damage. One shoots out at a random direction. I never realized it did that. Uh... But man, it's really cool. Apollo Justice was very cool. Uh, there was a lot of really dumb stuff in it. But there was also a lot of really cool stuff. Okay, another luck up. We have not been hit in like three floors. When am I going to get my fucking perfection trinket, eh? I legit think if we beat the boss of this floor without taking damage, I will get perfection, which is not a huge deal. Like, you usually don't keep it very long, but... 
my god, yeah, there's the panty guy. The panties guy in Apollo Justice. He was great. And I love how every- if there's, there's a guy who is revealed to have been stealing panties, and then after that reveal happens, everyone just passively refers to him as the panties guy, which is fucking hilarious. Nice. Do I get- yeah, there's perfection. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I even take it. Oh, look, matchbook! Awesome! Oh, maybe I should have waited to take that, actually. Because I want to do that red sword room, but whatever. I think we're just not going to live that dream. Uh, Yeah, so... The, the, the start of Dual Destinies that I've been doing, though, it's not really knocked my socks off yet. Uh, one second. Uh, so I've played the great Ace Attorney Chronicles, which is like the most recently developed Ace Attorney games, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I think they're the most recent ones. And those games are 3D and they look fucking great. But I'm just now playing Dual Destinies, which is, I believe, the first 3D Ace Attorney game. And uh, going back to that and looking at the visuals of that one, even in the remastered version, it's kind of like, ooh, <laughs> you know, uh, Phoenix himself. I know I ragged on people for saying that like Peach, whatever, let's just take this. I know I ragged on people for saying that like, oh, Peach looks too different in the, uh, great, in, in Princess Peach Showtime or whatever, but Phoenix kind of looks bad in Dual Destinies. I don't really, uh... He just looks kind of shitty, like, I, I don't know, he, he looks really weird. Um, they made his arms blue, yeah. I saw somebody literally complaining about how s a, a certain... The new, like, sp uh, Sonic fan thing is, like, Spider-Man fans. Where Spider-Man fans, they'll be looking at, like, two fucking nearly identical pictures of Spider-Man with, like, extremely slightly different suit designs. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Give me a fucking blood bag. Yes! Oh my god, but I need to hurt myself by half a heart. We'll just go into the curse room, I guess. I'll go into the curse room and, like, duck out. Ow. Instantly. Okay, well, I got hit. That's fine. That accomplishes my goal. My range. What the fuck did I get that made my range that long? Uh... Oh, the mirror. But I couldn't even tell I had it because the range is so long. Whack. Okay, I'll take that. I have Soul of Samson, which is... I'm gonna wait to re-roll that. And if we get a poopy-themed boss, we can uh, flush it. And you know what? That trinket's cool. Equality. I got some use out of equality recently, where, like, if you... I think it's like if you use the full question mark and drop all of your items so that your the count of your items is the same, then you can, like, make a ton more pickups. Because the way equality works is if you have the same amount of every item... Pheromones, great. It's like if you have the same amount of coins, bombs, and keys, then it doubles all the coins, bombs, and keys on the ground. So if you just drop everything with the full question mark card, then equality goes hard. Or if you manage to go down to zero, 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 you know, but it's so frequently useless. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna pick this up, and I'm gonna pick that up, because we got a ton of money. And we've got a new active item. I'm actually... Mm, man. I missed the chance to do this uh, yet again. Whatever. And we'll go pick this up. And we'll leave. Oh, wait, there's... Is this a free battery? I think it is. Cool! We got all the secrets. Yeah, I'm not even gonna take the perfection trinket, because it's just gonna get deleted. Uh, alright. There's also, I've been noticing little, like, 
plot holes in the Ace Attorney games, like in, in Apollo Justice, for instance. There's a few kind of hefty ones, uh, one of which was like pointed out to me and other ones where I was just like, hey, that doesn't really make sense. And like, I know talking about plot holes is very, it's a very contentious issue because a lot of people treat, you know, oh, this thing has a plot hole. That means it's terrible and it was made by a child and it was the worst thing ever. Or people, you know, if you say something has a plot hole, people think you're accusing... Oh, nice. People think you're, like, accusing that thing of being inferior or whatever because of the plot hole. But it's, it's kind of... it's just kind of fun to think about and particularly with a mystery solving game where, like, the facts of the case really do matter. I feel like it's a little more fair to be like, okay, a plot hole is a little frustrating here because the whole point of this story is that we're trying to, like, figure out the truth using logic and reason. And then there's just stuff that sort of doesn't make any sense. I won't go into too many er, in into any specifics here to avoid spoiling for people, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, I really like Tainted Eden because- and I, I see why it can be frustrating for some people, because sometimes it's just like... You just re-roll into dog shit, and then you're just screwed. Uh, you know, and then you like- you re-roll into something that has really low health, and then you just die. <laughs> and that's sad, but, uh... A lot of times it's just like you just harvest... passive items... Just hoard them at all costs, and then... You cycle through a bunch of wacky builds over the course of your run. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take that, because it's a passive item. And there's a certain, uh... There's a certain, like, levity to just being like, Yeah, I'll just take whatever dog shit item, yeah. I'll take dead cat, fuck it, give it to me. Actually, dead cat, I don't remember at present if dead cat would fuck shit up for Tainted Eden, but it very well might. This flickering Christmassy tear. So festive. Uh... Just checking up on Shu. He's in his cool little tube. He's taking a little sleepy in his cool little tube. Nothing too crazy. Alright. So, but yes, I've been enjoying... Uh, Apollo Justice was very good. And I... It was fun to have... I, I believe this is the last hurrah of a 2D sprite-based... Ace Attorney game, like, and and it's and it's whack. The sprites look really good. Uh, one of the things that I've heard people sort of criticize about the Ace Attorney HD collection, the original trilogy, is that the sprites, some of the sprites look a little weird. Uh, you know, the like redrawn sprites, but the redrawn sprites in Apollo Justice are like magnifique. They look great. Okay, the burnt penny we don't really have any use for because we got so many bombs already. Uh, and it looks like we did keep the pill stats and the, uh, we kept that tears down, we kept the luck up, and we kept the bombs. Which is cool. Another pill? Sure. Speed up. Yeah, there's, I guess there's the investigations games, that's true. But it's been very fun. I think, you know, again, big recommend on Ace Attorney. Uh, the original trilogy, I can say, is pretty fantastic the whole way through. There are some frustrating parts, and there are some dumb, annoying parts, and there are some, you know, some little plot holes and stuff that can be annoying. But uh, overall, I think the strength of that series is in writing really charming, likable characters and cute sprite art, you know? cute or funny or weird, sometimes disturbing. There, there was a guy in Apollo Justice with a toothbrush that had an incredibly disturbing face, but he was amazing. Okay, my my little poop friends are, are getting blown up every other second here. My little poop friend, my little poop friend. That's a great joke. Try to put people in a great mood. Oh, the luck up got re-rolled. Or no, it didn't. Oh, and now I don't have Ludovico. And now I don't have... I think that was Hemolacria for a second there. Minus two. Minus two. 
minus two, minus two. Minus two, minus two. Oh, this stream is making my hemorrhoids do the Harlem shake. My balls are hitting the gritty right now. And it is fun to solve the mysteries. Oh, rainbow laser, cool. It is fun to solve the mysteries in Ace Attorney games, too. They're, those stories are quite well told. Okay, we don't have any source of juicing on the floor. Did I just leave a coin in here? Oh, yeah. Not that it matters a lot. Minus two, minus two, minus two. Grapefruit top five games ever. I I'm just gonna do a tier list, like I'm gonna do just a top five list right now. I don't know, man. That's that's a pretty big question for a gamer such as I. Great, we got this friendly bat that's gonna go every two seconds now. Okay, what floor are we on? Dank. I mean, I don't. I'd love to, guys. I, you know, I love talking shop. I love talking games. But I don't know if I can just go top five, just un unprompted. How about this? Okay. Isabel is gonna go to Japan in, like, less than a week now, which is fucking crazy, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> and she's gonna stay there for about a week. And during that week, I'm gonna try to stream a bunch of reviews. And there, at the end of reviews, I will sort the review spreadsheet by score, and we'll look at all the top games, and then maybe I can formulate some kind of top ten. What about a bottom five list? That you know, in in that in a, in a way that might be fun, too. Listing the most dog shit games I've ever played, because I mean, it's not going to be like oh Gollum or whatever. No, it's going to be like random flash game whose name it was made by like keyboard mashing <laughs> you know random flash game that nobody's heard of from 2006 yeah power punch 2 would probably actually be on there i'm thinking for some reason baby boomer comes to mind but baby boomer is not it's not actually that bad it's bad but it's not like it's not, like, impressively bad like some games are. But, you know, I don't know, if I it, it just... Uh, I, I just feel like if I were to list, like, oh, here's like... Oh, wow, that was dumb of me. Oh, Cursed Eye, hell yeah. Uh, and I'm not gonna use this book, I don't think. I don't really know how that would work if I, like, used it and then re-rolled, but I'm not even gonna fuck around and find out. I don't want to take double deals as this character. Um... I always just feel like I would forget something, but just... How about I just, you know... Off the top of my head, what are some games I really like? Uh... Katamari Damacy. Oh god, I've got Tiny Planet C-Section, okay. And Shard of Glass. Which used to be bugged on this character, I hope they fixed that. Got that missing poster too. Katamari Damacy, Rhythm Heaven Fever, uh, I don't know, in recent memory, Pizza Tower. Uh, Return of the Obra Dinn is surely one of my favorites. Oh, there's, I've also got fucking Proptosis, oh, that's whack. That's a pretty mental build. Yeah, let's just break that fucking... That was a bit of a waste of a chariot, but whatever. Uh... Oh, god damn it. So now I'm gonna bleed. Might as well just try to take damage and see if they fix that. Uh, it would appear that they did not fix it, actually. The, the shard of glass issue is still alive and well in this game. Huh. Uh, ooh, let's use that too. I don't know, like it's hard to just think off the top of my head, ooh, what's like, what are my favorite games? What are games that I really, really love? That was weird. I had Mom's Knife, but I like couldn't charge it or shoot it. I didn't get enough time to like look at my items list. But I don't know what would have been causing that. Mm. 
Portal, Portal 2. Love those games. Uh, hey, you know what? Let's get rid of Glass Cannon. Oh god, curse. Because I don't want to take a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, I like Isaac, you know? I like this game, surely. Goes without saying. I don't- there's not really a ton of point in doing that, I think. The moon. <clears throat> uh, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, you know? And when I say that, I really mean Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne. Not Dark Souls 2 or 3 or Elden Ring or Sekiro, uh... I like 3. I like Dark Souls 3 a lot. I like them all a lot, but, you know, there's favorites. Full health. Question mark card. Okay, oh, it would appear that I have the diaper. Okay. I've gotten pretty good at spotting tinties, too. Like, surely, maybe I've missed some in this run. Maybe I missed some in every run. But I feel like I... It's just like every room that has rocks, I just do a little quick scan to see if there are tinties. <laughs> I will take both of these. They're both pretty cheap. And I got... I got spun. But I think I'm actually going to lose it when I transform again. 16 cents, I'll take that. Wait, oh, I hit B instead of A. Well, whatever. 23 cents, I'll take that. Um... Alright. Top 10 fingers. Number one! Number one. They always... There's always a certain cadence to people making a top ten list, right? Number one. They can't just say number one. They have to introduce it like it's the awesomest thing of all time. Okay. That would have been the perfect time to give me an item. Wow. Okay, we're at speed cap. I'll take this full health pill. I mean, clearly this build's great. Seraphim uh, re-rolled into... Oh my god. Re-rolled into... The, uh... Oh! <laughs> the fucking, like, damage doubling thing. Crown of Light. Look at that. And they say this is a hard character. Just get hit! And get C-section knives. It's not hard. And we got fucking magic skin, holy mantle. <laughs> uh, let's just go. Cool. Uh, I love that I check what path I'm doing. It doesn't matter. Let's go the fun path. Mega Satan by way of cathedral, you know, or by, uh, you know what I mean, the chest. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll check that out. I'm worried these guys will hit the bomb. And they do. And they do. Ah! <laughs> I spawned in, in a bad corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the good shit. Right there. You just get a ton of passive items, rack them up, and then wait for something beautiful to happen like this. Oof. I guess I can get Bookworm. I, I think that's a transformation that Eden can actually keep, right? Tainted Eden can keep. I think. Could be wrong. 
But I think it's universal that... Uh... Active item transformation counts carry over regardless of, like, re-rolling, right? This fucking guy thinks! <laughs> How embarrassing! Uh, so I hope you guys have been doing okay, by the way. I've, I've been, uh, doing some IRL stuff. I've been working on decluttering my house. Uh, I used that book at entirely the wrong time. There, there's the, the garage at my house, which is a shared house between two people. Not just me and Bella, but, you know, two groups of people, because we have a landlord who also lives here. And, you know, he's, he's a good guy, but sometimes he kind of, like, just leaves crap just sitting around a bunch. Thank you, Holy Mantle. And there's been this huge pile of cardboard in the, in the basement that's just been piling up. Where it's just like every time somebody fucking like gets a big box or whatever, it's just flatten it and put it on the pile of cardboard. And uh, I finally got sick of it. I, I, I said enough, and I filled my car up with cardboard and I took it to the uh, the old dump, which is it was really chill. It was the chillest dump visit of all time. It was like on a fucking. It was like a rainy Tuesday afternoon, and I went in there. And the room, there's like this gigantic room for recycling. It was completely empty except for one guy who was sitting there listening to Bob Marley on his little, like, he had a little speaker. He was listening to Bob Marley and, uh, <laughs> and it was like echoing throughout this cavernous room. And I just pulled up and dumped all the cardboard into this big empty thing, sorry, cardboard. And, uh, the guy didn't bug me. I didn't have to pay because it was all recycling. It was very chill. I was like, you know what? On a on the chillest day, working at the dump doesn't seem like a bad job. Maybe I'll work there when this whole YouTuber thing falls through. It's like, imagine applying for the dump and being like, yeah, can I just work in the recycling room, please? <laughs> and not the stinky trash room. I don't want to work in the stinky trash room. I mean, I was a janitor for a while, and that was actually a really chill gig. Because you know what? You don't have to- and this is- uh, uh, the statute of limitations is up, right? Here's the big secret about being a janitor. And maybe this is just me. Uh, you don't have to be sober to vacuum a floor and empty garbages. <laughs> so, I would just get, like, wicked high at my janitor job. Maybe this is, like, the worst advice. Like, you should not listen to me here. But, <laughs> just the entire time that I was a janitor, I was just like wicked stoned, listening to like the Reply All podcast on my headphones. Just vacuuming an office complex, and taking out their garbages and like wiping down certain things. And like that's it, and it was such a chiller job. That was the last job I had before, uh, Twitch, for YouTube. Well, I was doing YouTube stuff while I was janitor. Before that, I was an IT guy. Before that, I worked at Jimmy John's. I think... No, maybe it was the other way around. This is just... This is just... The rest of the game is just gonna be this build, probably. Although, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll eat my woods. We have lots of protection, and... This is, like, one of the most insane C-section builds I've ever seen. <laughs> And hopefully we can get some crazy stuff. Like, on the last floor, I might even intentionally take hits just to see what kind of build we can get. Uh, Isabel and I, re we finished our watch through of the Venture Brothers, the entire show. This was my first time, I, I, I genuinely think this was my first time ever watching it totally front to back without ever, like, skipping any episodes, or just re-watching episodes that I, uh, remembered fondly. Like, maybe I gave it one, because I feel like... When I was younger, when I was in, like, junior high, or not junior high, like, high school. When I was in high school, and I was watching The Venture Brothers, I remember very distinctly, like, sitting in my room, pretending to be cleaning my room, because my mom was always like, oh, you gotta clean your room, like, you gotta deep clean that shit, because that room is just a fucking disaster. And it was, 
But I would, like, sit in my closet, pretending to clean my bedroom, and really I'd be watching the Venture Brothers on my phone. Or, I guess that was on my iPod at that point. Uh, and... I think I watched the episodes out of order, because I remember being, like, confused by things, by certain, like, plot points, and then realizing that I had, like, accidentally, like, skipped ahead a couple of, like, episodes, or like, maybe even a season. And, uh, so I watched them all out of order, and then whenever I would rewatch episodes, I would just be like, oh, what's a good episode that I want to rewatch? Oh, I'll rewatch, you know, the Lepidopterists or whatever. But, so I think this was genuinely my first time just watching the entire series back to front, without any, like, changes or interruptions or skips or anything. And man, is it good. What a great show. And so, it's so, whoa, this must be a rare room. It's so rewatchable, too. Like, it's so fun to rewatch. This is actually gonna, like, drain my fucking keys before. Oh, there we go. Before the chest. Nice. Uh. It's such a great show, and it's so rewatchable, and there's so many things that upon rewatching it, you'll be like, Oh my god, they set that shit up in, like, season one. There's, like, some offhanded reference to something in season one that doesn't come back until, like, season four, you know? And it doesn't feel like stupid mystery box, uh, type storytelling, too. It's just good, and it's it, just like Ace Attorney, it's got l so many lovable characters, too. Wow. So, again, big recommend on the Venture Brothers. I know I've said it a lot, but uh, it's a great series. The first couple of seasons are not as good as the rest of the show, and the show ever so slightly petered off at the end, I think, too. Like, season six and seven are, like, a little... They're not... I feel like they're not quite as good as the later, as, as, like, seasons, like, three, four, and five are, like, the sweet spot of, like, the best shit, but it's all pretty good. There's also, uh, you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to muscle up for some pedophile jokes in season three. That's something Isabel was like, wow, there's, uh, there's a lot of pedophile jokes in season three. <laughs> there's, like, <laughs> They just can't stop making jokes about pedophiles, can they? Because there's, like, a character who is... There's a villain who is a, like, recovering pedophile. <laughs> it's like... That is, like, one of the hardest sells in all of media is getting people to watch The Venture Brothers and being like, okay, I just want to prepare you. There's a lot of pedophile jokes in this. There's an entire episode about just jokes about, uh, Batman being a pedophile, basically. <laughs> For instance. But, uh, if you can, you know, get past that aspect, <laughs> then, uh, it is a great show. It's very subvoisive, you know. You gotta be subvoisive. Okay, I'll take that. I am just taking items. Wow, look at how big they are when they come about out of my gut. Oh, I'm sure they handle it respectfully. Ah! <laughs> I'm not even gonna say they do. I'm not even gonna say they handle it respectfully. <laughs> Honestly. Just something, you know, prepare yourself mentally. I don't know, yeah, whenever a show does something, does the, like... Oh, what if superheroes were real and they're fucked up? <laughs> it's like, I'm always like, I can't imagine if th that they could possibly do it better than the Venture Brothers. You know? Like, the Venture Brothers is not all about superheroes, but it's like, a lot about superheroes. Yeah, exactly, they're kind of the- they're those kind- exactly, they're- they're jokes where you're like, Ah, ha, ha, oh, I'm going to hell, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. We're not going in there. It's 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 a show that's kind of a hard sell for a couple of reasons, one of which being oh, I just noticed Crooked Penny showed up and I just ignored it. That's so funny. 
Uh, it's a hard sell because, you know, it gets pretty subversive, it gets- it touches on some touchy subjects, and it also is, uh, it's not as good in the first couple of seasons. Like, it, it takes a little while for the show to hit its stride. But then when it hits its stride, it hits it hard. And there's just so much cool, like, continuity and shit in that show that especially makes it a mind-blowing rewatch. Okay, well, Crooked Penny deleted that room, so that's good. Great show, great voice acting. That's something I'd love to point out, too. Is like really fantastic voice acting uh, that is well well delivered and makes all the characters feel super memorable. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, the difference. Somebody said in chat said the difference is that the Venture Brothers feels like it actually enjoys the things that it pokes fun at. Yeah, it's not just some hateful like superheroes are dumb, boy adventure media is dumb, mysteries like the Harvey Brothers are dumb. It's like you can feel that they love their weird, bitter, nerd idiots that they're making fun of constantly. Yeah. Okay, should I, have, should I get hit a, lot, a bunch of times and re-roll into a crazy build? Well, should I do it? You guys want me to do it? Throw away the key? You want me to throw away the key? Wow, what the fuck? Ipecac. I have like mirror shots and super big range and Ipecac. Oh, what the fuck? That's a wild build. Okay, let's get a hit again. Conjoined. Oh god, what do I have? It's bad. It's bad. Hit again. I have knife tech X. That's so cool looking. Box of spiders, baby. And I rerolled into Book of Virtues, which just means you basically get to keep it. At least for a while. No, wait, it's the, uh, this is Spirit Sword Tech X, not Knife. I was like, why is it making a little fuck, fuck, fuck? I got confused because I have the, the Knife transformation. Okay. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Look at this shit. That's so cool. I love everything that has a rainbow effect. My brain, it's so easy to, like, trick me into liking something. Just make it rainbow. It's literally just aesthetically pleasing. It's not, like, necessarily an LGBTQ thing. Although, as is well documented, I am bisexual. Uh, it is literally just my, like, monkey brain loves it. Any shows similar to the Venture Brothers you'd recommend? I don't know. That's kind of the thing, is like, there's nothing really truly like it. Uh... You know, I can try recommending you other animated shows that are, like, anarchic and that I enjoy. Like, Super Jail, you want to talk about a show that has caveats if you want people to get into it. Super Jail is one of them, and I won't go super far into it, but, uh... There's a really fun show that I think is really underappreciated and has really incredible animation. The animation of that show in particular really blows my mind. Well, this is a cool build. We're just gonna recklessly go into these rooms. I mean, these can't be delirium, but look at that. And that's a book. Awesome. Someone said I regret showing Super Jail to my friends. That's funny. It's it's an extremely, like, talk about subversive. It is an extremely subversive show. That is extr- it's like hyper omega violent. But like, it's this weird cartoony animation style. The animation I would almost compare to like Pizza Tower. It, weirdly enough. D d back me up on this. Is this a weird take or not? It's kind of Pizza Tower-esque, with the way everything kind of like morphs and transforms in weird ways. Uh, but it's definitely, I mean, it definitely does not shy away from sensitive topics, but I think overall, without going too far into it, I think overall the show is not like 
it doesn't watching super jail doesn't make you a bad person i don't think bad people made it i think it's just made as like the super super like omega cathartic expression of just like hyper violence it's really weird it's so hard to describe but i don't know a video that comes up in my recommended a lot on YouTube is the one that says like, oh, the Super Jail, the Warden's transformations and stuff. And uh, yeah, if you look up that video and, and watch it and think, oh, this animation looks interesting, uh, then maybe give it a shot because a lot of the show is like that. And then a lot of that show is uh, prisoners getting their faces peeled off and shit. But again, it's like, it's like super gory, but it's not the kind of gore, like, I, I can't, I'm not a big fan of, like, super gory shit, unless it's, like, wicked stylized. And Super Jail is wicked stylized. And it's like, there's, there's a catharsis in the fact that, like, I guess slight spoilers, Almost every episode, like, every character dies, and then the next episode, they're just back. And it's never explained, it's never like, oh, they're clones, oh, they, they, they went into an alternate dimension like Rick and Morty. It's like, nope, we just don't care. We're just gonna, we're just gonna have this super violent scene where all the characters, all the main characters get killed off, and then they're, the next episode, they're just all back <laughs> to get killed again. Sorry, are people calling the warden a Tumblr sexy man? Because I could see that. I mean, it's so hard to define, right? Tumblr sexy man. Hey, this can't be delirium. Look at that damage, oh my god. I have C-section. It's, it's C-section, lacrophagy, laser. So, what's happening is I'm shooting a laser. The laser is getting interrupted halfway through the beam and turning into lacrophagy tears those lacrophagy tears are hitting each other and then exploding into c-section babies actually no i think the c-section babies are just coming out of my chest while i'm shooting the laser is this tech 2 that i have i don't even see it on there yeah almond milk is in there which is crazy with two damage. Like, I know two damage is kind of low, but with almond milk, it's great. That's why we melted Mama Gertie like that. Everybody's been talking about, uh, speaking of Tumblr sexy man, does it feel like Has Been Hotel is like a Tumblr sexy man bait show? Does that make any sense at all, or am I completely rambling like a lunatic right now? Like, that's kind of on target, right? It entirely is. Everyone is agreeing with me. Those character designs are so obnoxious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't... I don't... I'm not going to try to, like... I know everybody shits on Hasbin Hotel, right? It's been, like, the most popular thing to do recently. Whoa. That's so cool looking. All those teeth. <laughs> Cursed eye. Hell yeah, baby. Everybody's been shitting on Hasbin Hotel for so many reasons, right? Uh, but, man, I just can't get past those character designs. And they're so, they're so, like, overly detailed, too. Have you noticed that there's this trend in, like, modern character designing where it's like every design under the sun has been done? So now, if you want to have, oh, here's my original character. They have, uh, their eyes are red on one side and, uh, blue on the other side, and there's three dots under their right eye and two lines under their left eye, and they've got a gold tooth and a monocle, and their hair comes out in six spikes on the left side of their head and five spikes on the right side of their head, and it's got two red stripes going down it, and I'm like, STOP! <laughs> STOP DESIGNING THE CHARACTER! YOU'VE DESIGNED THEM! STOP! Those poor, poor animators. And then they all... And then here's the thing. Kingdom Hearts, right? Final Fantasy. They're so detailed, but all the details are so similar that they all just look the fucking same. <laughs> and it's like, bruh. What even is the point? Like, animation thrives on, like, simple, effective character designs, you know? It's like if you designed a character and they looked like this character. Like, my guy in Binding of Isaac right now. You know? All right, and now I'm going to I'm going to take we're going to we're going to swivel this conversation a little bit because I'm about to a bunch of people who were probably agreeing with me are now going to start disagreeing with me. Cuz you know what else I feel this way on? 
Uh, Guilty Gear Strive. This is something I've always felt about Guilty Gear Strive, is I... Those character designs are just too complicated. There's too much character design. Like... Stop drawing little dumb details on your character. They're already- they already look fucking iconic. Like, I literally want to go back in time and interrupt the character designer, like, halfway through their job and just be like, okay, you're done. And they're like, no, but I'm gonna add, like, six buckles on the left side of their pants and five zippers and they need to have a little doll of themselves attached by the waist. And I'm like, nope, you're done. You're, you're taking your pen away. You don't get to design a character anymore. You're done. It looks great. It looks fucking fantastic. Stop. Oh, something died. <laughs> I must have, like, lost or found soul. I always get them mixed up. This is a weird build. Cut his mic! <laughs> Some of the Strive characters aren't too complicated, yeah. It's true. Also, do you like how I picked up an angel active item and now it's been re-rolling into the other two angel active items? In fact, oh my god, we could get a Genesis by just hitting myself into an enemy over and over again, probably. Which is funny because I would be able to customize a build, you know, but it would only last for one hit. <laughs> Quick, someone hook a, hook a cane around his neck and pull him off stage. I'm just gonna start slamming my gun into enemies. Hanged man question mark. Oh god, I'm invincible. No! No, guys, don't kill! Don't kill, please! I need to slam. Uh, I didn't get hit! <laughs> Fucking mask of infamy. <laughs> I have sacred heart. <sighs> uh. No, stop! Oh, it's because I have, uh... I have Isaac's heart. That's what's making that happen. Come on. Get it hit. Get it hit. Nice. Oh. That's a pretty good build right there. That's pretty good. Ah. Oh! That's good chowder. And I don't know, circling back to Hasbin Hotel, every time I see more clips of it, oh my god, guys. No, one thing at a time. Uh, circling back to that, every scene of that show that I've seen looks like people playing, uh, like, make-believe with their OCs, you know? Does it not feel like you're watching somebody's, like, furry roleplay? Kinda. In a way, in, like, like, derogatory, like, you know, and all the bad writing that comes with that, you know? Uh... Anyway, you guys see that fucking, the Thanos beatboxing guy commissioned an artist to make a video self-shipping him with the main character of Has Been Hotel. And not only that, not only self-shipping himself with her, but like, she wants him, like, really bad. Like, that's the aspect of the video that is like, viscerally fucking cringy, is... It's a video, it's not, it's not like him and her, like, having a sexy little encounter or something. It's like, no, he's running away, and she's, like, chasing after him. She wants him so bad. Oh my god, I cannot stop thinking about that fucking video. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. It's exactly the kind of, like, tone-deaf, self-indulgent shit you would expect from the Thanos beatboxing guy, too. <laughs> Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Yes, and apparently that character is openly, uh, lesbian as well. But, you know, that hasn't stopped straight guys before. You know. I don't think that's a sentence that makes sense to straight guys. They're like, what? Doesn't... What? <laughs> they don't... I don't get that. What do you mean? Come on, give me Genesis. Oh, nice, another chance. Jar of Wisps, fuck off. Uh. I had Holy Mantle. Come on, give me Genesis. You know you want to. 
I don't... Maybe this isn't even a thing. What? Did I get bomb immunity? Oh no, I got pyro. <laughs> I have pyro knife. That's so boring. Wait, please. Something damaged me. Uh, you know what? I never got these secret rooms. Okay, come on. Break these, and then it makes a poopa cloud. And the poopa cloud hurts me. Nice! Void. Fuck off. Speed down, this is fine. Fuck up. I'll hang on to that. Uh, a $3 bill or magnet? Looks like magnet. Oh, red poops. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's fucking Breath of the Wild. I don't want that. <laughs> yes, Genesis. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. It would be so funny. I still have my bones following me around. That's funny. Oh! Oh! <laughs> No! No! I have the hourglass to get me back in! What the fuck?! <laughs> okay, drop this fucking trinket right now. Holy shit. That's so funny. So based. Okay, yeah, give me that. That's fucking hilarious. Sure. Tech X. Yeah, I mean, Eden's Blessing is cool, but... Hey, I'll take that. That's so fucking funny that that happened. Oh, moldy bread looking pretty tasty there. Uh, not getting great stuff yet. Oh, this is all bad. Mmm... Let's take the converter, I guess, and just make one of those. Yeah, this is lame. I'll take flight. Ugh. Terrible. Let's just grab all this shit. <laughs> that shit with the cursed penny was so funny. Okay, here's a book. I don't know, I guess I'll take this one probably gonna get replaced over time. These are some bad angel items, man. Not bad, but just like not great. It's a battery item. Take that shit. And we're you know we're probably gonna lose all this shit in the delirium fight anyway. My idea was like, oh maybe we can uh make one really funny crazy build, but it's really not giving me funny crazy stuff right now. Take that, poison tears Sure, that's the mom transformation, okay. Eh. Crooked Penny honestly might, like, fuck it all up, is the thing. Okay, Bone Tears. <laughs> I guess I'll take Bluppy. I guess we'll take Squeezy. Uh, Aquarius is cool. Oh. Nah. We don't want Psyfly. Survival items are so passe when you're going for a big boss kill at the end. I'll be taking that. That's a really good one. I'll be taking that. We're pretty clear close to the tier cap, so I don't want to focus on getting tiers right now. Guess I'll take that. The other one might have been better, actually. Take this. I'll take that. Hmm. Yeah, nothing here is too crazy, honestly. Isaac's heart. Which, one of the facts that I learned on that semi-frequent Isaac facts Twitter thing is, uh, that Isaac's heart synergizes with the, like, fart bean trinket that makes, like, fart effects larger. It's like, I forgot that the heart even, they changed it so that it has a, uh... They made it so that it has, like, an attack. It has, like, a charge attack. And if you have the Giganti Bean Trinket, it makes that charge attack way bigger. Which is whack. 
Okay, we'll take flat stone. That's a funny one. Although I don't know if it affects... Look at how boring our build is right now. And if I get a row of items that's like obviously angel items, I'm going to try to soul of Isaac them, even though I don't think that's really how that works. Okay, we're at tier cap is the thing. But shot speed down is actually kind of nice, Tech X. Uh... Look at how bad these are, oh my lordy! Proptosis. I'm never quite sure, I don't think Proptosis would be great, honestly. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh great. It's you. Ah, uh, you know what, I'll take it, I'll take it. Whatever the fuck, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Really the crown jewel of this was the cursed penny glowing hourglass interaction earlier. There's another baby, there's a third baby, that's conjoined. There's something. And we're done, that's it. Oh my god, this is my delirium build. Oh, I can't wait to re-roll this trash. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just go. Oh, and am I gonna... No, okay, I was like, am I gonna redo? I'm gonna do, like, another delirium floor? <laughs> Yeah, I could try to re-roll the, the fucking mushroom into R key. That's funny. I don't... Uh, hmm. Well, let's just go fight. Let's just go see what happens. Let's go bonk myself right away. And instantly I got a way cooler, way better build. Oh my god. Look at this. The Russell zone. Look at that. The feast. Yes! Feed my children! Wow, isn't it funny how trying to curate a build with Genesis was way worse than that? Getting hit once? <laughs> okay, now hear me out. No. These are not. Oh, 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 oh! I'm out of here. Okay, oh my god, a four-person raid. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Thank you for that raid. Uh... Should I do another... Uh, what do you guys think? Should I do another one? Should I swallow the key? Huh? Should I swallow the key? Uh... I gotta do another one. It's been barely any time. What about just a normal Eden run? Whoa. Angry, and I got the fucking blood rights. It's terrible. The terrible item. Getting the Eve unlocks on uh, Switch made me really appreciate the razor blade. Like, it's good on Eve. But. It's still kind of a bad item. But then this item is even worse. Oh, this is fun. Okay. My stats are not fantastic. My tears and damage are both kind of lacking. I think damage is ever so slightly above the average starting point. There's balls. Which would be cool to have over the course of a whole run, but... No, I don't have Dead God in every save file, and I don't really plan on doing that either. Frankly. Eh, it's just, like... Like, I'm working my way toward Dead God on Isabelle's Switch, but... It doesn't really matter, and like... It's just kind of... It's just something, it's like, okay, if you're the kind of person who is going to play enough Isaac to Dead God three times, you might as well get a reward for it, you know? But it's like setting out to do it, nah. Look at this, this is just pathetic. Biff. Boff. Uh, y your boy needs an item. <laughs> your boy needs an item bad.
Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do some salty bets soon, by the way. The other thing, I, I think when Isabelle is gone, I'm going to have a lot of streams where I just stream salty bet and also do reviews. Lots of very talky streams. So yes, I hopefully, if everything goes to plan... Uh, wow, what a shitty item to get. Uh, <laughs> If everything goes according to plan in the next couple of weeks, we, there will be some uh, some Salty Bet. Which will be very fun, and to anybody who's never seen Salty Bet before, you gotta check it out. I feel like a lot of times people don't watch those streams just because they don't really like understand like what it is. But just trust me, it's so fucking fun. And funny, it's just like infinite entertainment. I've been playing a little bit off stream. I felt the gravitational pull of Salty Bet. And I've been I've been doing some bets off stream a little bit here and there. And uh man is it still fun to this day. Oh. Wow, so cool. Wow. This this run ain't getting off the ground. This is not. <sighs> uh it'll make the chance of getting the punch tiers higher. I thought there was some drama with Salty Bet and there was a split into Sprite Club. I don't know. I, I vaguely remember hear, hearing something like that, but Salty Bet is still up. It still exists. And it's still got those same assholes. Botting- whoa, that was an impressive voice crack, wow. Botting the bets and cheating the system. It apparently just never gets old for them. That was a really big voice crack, that was like insane. We don't have any money for any of this, I probably shouldn't have even looked in here. It's just, I was hoping a bomb would show up. <clears throat> yeah, it was a pretty fucked up voice crack. Ah. Who bought Salty Bet? What? A, a lot of people. A lot of fucking people. You would be shocked. It's it's so insane how even fictional capital like Salty Bucks inspires people to to do horrible things, you know? And I say horrible, really, it's just, like, they're just kind of fucking it up for everyone else a little bit by s constantly skewing the bets in favor of whoever is most likely to win, as determined by, like, a spreadsheet that has been scrubbing Salty Bet for data and matchup information for years at this point. Literally, it's been, like, there's been a bot that's just been, like, running and looking at all the matchups for, like, seven fucking years, and people just bet they just they just make like little scripts and little bots to bet on the people who are like basically guaranteed to win it's like ah uh, even even fictuitous capitalism just brings out the worst in some people and makes them into beady-eyed little number crunchers where it's like, why are you even playing Salty Bet? And the thing is, a lot of these people botting aren't even there. They're just, like, they just have a bot that's running constantly, skewing the odds for everyone else. It's very irresponsible. Shit like that is why I don't do channel points, man. People talking about channel points. Nah. Nah, you gotta actually want to, like, put up with my dumb personality if you want to watch the channel. I don't want you to be here because of, like, gamification. Uh... Okay. Might end up injuring myself. Does Blood Rites prioritize red hearts? Do we know? I, something tells me it doesn't. I know the Razor Blade does. anybody who doesn't know, somebody asked what channel points are. It's like... 
I don't even, I kind of struggle to even explain it. It's like when you watch a Twitch stream, you get these little points and there's like a little green icon that appears that's like, claim your channel points now. And if you claim those points, then you get them and you get this inventory basically of a bunch of these fake points that don't do anything, but then certain streamers can make it so that you, uh, can like redeem your points for them to be like it's like oh you pay like 10,000 channel points for them to like give you a shout out or whatever okay I mean this is a good item but now I'm definitely not doing the sword room and it's like it's always what I've seen on a bunch of other twitch channels is it always starts out like Oh yeah, it's just a bit of fun, teehee, oh, we're just gonna, you know, oh, we just got these points and you can do a silly thing with them, <laughs> And then it always turns into, like, there's drama now because somebody lost their channel points, you know? Oh, please let this be the spot. Damn it. And, uh, it always just seems like it becomes more of a pain in the ass than, uh, than it's worth. Because, again, fictional capital for people just, like, breaks people's brains. It's just... It turns out capitalism's kind of a mind fuck, and when you attribute a number or a score to things, it just starts becoming bad and weird. <laughs> to something that, I don't know, I mean, I'm playing a game, of course, that has a score. So maybe I shouldn't talk. And it's always like, it ends up being like, oh, the streamer feels like they have to do, that, like it's an obligation that they have to do for channel points, you know? And, uh... It's also the fact that you can't turn them off. You literally, at least, maybe this got changed at some point, but I remember there was a lot of kerfuffle when channel points were introduced because there was no way to disable them. So if you turned them on and then you were like, oh, this is actually annoying and obnoxious, and you wanted to turn them off, there just wasn't an option. Okay, this must be where the secret room is. What? Okay. Okay, this is going to be a lot more of a conventional run. This is this is your classic Eden run where you start out with dog shit items and you have to like claw your way out of the pit, which I'm kind of down for. Uh I I think the only other spot that the secret room could even be is right here, which is very convenient for me. Oh my goodness. That's why you actually use the Golden Bomb, holy shit. 400 viewers pog. It was that raid. The raid helped out, thanks guys. By the way, I, so every once in a while I will go just look at random uh, Mosolina streamers. Just cause, I don't know, it's just I like watching the game and talking about the game. And I went in to somebody's stream, and I was watching for a while, and then I saw them, like, you know, kind of struggling to get a fruit, and I was like, oh, you know, you can shoot mobilize at the fruit to just make it fly off screen. And then it turned out they already knew that, and they were trying to do something else, and they were like, and they they gave me what is, you know, to retro Greyfruit viewers, what old fans will know as, like, the Greyfruit backseating uh, rant, basically. <laughs> I got that at me, and I felt really bad. Because they were like, dude, I'm trying to play this game blind, and you shouldn't just come into a Twitch, stre Twitch stream and instantly start backseating, and I was like, ah! <sighs> it's, uh, you know, and, and like, I get it. You know, obviously. Judgment. Oh, this kind of judgment. As a, uh... See, the thing is, before that ever even happened, I fully understand, like, the whole backseating thing from, like, both sides, from both perspectives. As somebody who has backseated in the past before I was ever a Twitch streamer, and as somebody who has been annoyed at people backseating on their stream, you know? 
Like, I've already experienced both sides plenty. So, like, I get it. It's frustrating. I'm just, like, over it at this point. I mean, I still... I, I, I kind of think what sort of happened is... I, like, scared off a lot of the people who are very backseat heavy. <laughs> and, you know, these days I try to... If I'm gonna play a game like Deltarune or something, I try to give a very explicit, at the very beginning of the stream series, you know... I don't want to be told what to do in this game, you know? Uh, like, I genuinely feel like backseating on this channel just doesn't really happen much anymore. Uh, or, you know... Or, in it, there's always this case, the thing that makes people, I think a lot of people, really pissed off about backseating is when you know something and, or you remember something and then people in chat say to do it, and then the people in chat who said to do it, even though you remembered on your own to do it, think that you are now relying on them for information, and now they're going to start telling you what to do every second. And that feeling of like, they think I don't know, but I do know, is a horrible, horrible feeling. You know, that's why he doesn't know, in all caps, is used as a common way to like, enrage streamers, you know? Uh, so, like, I get it. But I think I've also chilled out a little bit about, you know, that sort of thing. Because it's like I've reached Zen where I'm just like, I just, I can't afford to care about that anymore. <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm thinking we just blow this guy up. I have no keys. I can't even get into the shop. There's no more hearts on the ground and there's nothing else really to do. I've even blown up all the rocks. You've chilled out about many, many things. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I don't think I was ever too crazy. It's just, uh, streaming's kind of a mindfuck. You know? In a way. Streaming is just kind of a mindfuck. <laughs> it's like... A lot of people don't realize, uh, how stressful it is or how... weird it feels, you know, to play a game in front of an audience, a huge audience of people. Do you still dislike people talking in all caps? When it's like the whole chat is like full of people talking in all caps. You know, like uh, we had Genesis earlier this stream. And I remember one time in the past having like a crazy Genesis room where it was just like there was so many crazy items showing up. And it was like everybody in the chat was going, oh, it's spirit sword, it's sacred heart, blah, blah, blah. And it's like the, it's like a thousand voices. It's like Superman, the way he can hear a million different voices of all these people living their lives in the world and it drives him insane, right? It's like... At a certain point, that does become distressing, but, you know, I can't remember the, really the last time that happened. I guess it was that, uh, Genesis moment. Uh, because it's like, even if people aren't, like, you know, it's not even necessarily if people are, like, angrily yelling at you or whatever. It's just, like, the information overload. Uh, alright, I guess I'll just go. Did I, I blew up that guy, right? Yeah. What does karma even do? It's like, higher chance for- I, I just realized I have my item description on. It's something to do with like, shops and like, reroll machines or something, or like the dono. I think it's like, there's a chance to get something if you donate money. Somebody said, man, I hate people expressing opinions. I wish I didn't have people watching and trying to interact with me. I don't know what, like, oper what level of irony you're operating on there, but, I mean, try to have some empathy. If you're- if- if that is not ironic, try- try to have a little bit of empathy, like, it's... It's not that simple. It's not as simple as, oh, I hate people- I- grr, I- rawr, rawr, I hate people interacting with me, rawr, I'm so angry and mean! You know? It's not that simple. Like, I feel like saying that is kind of similar to being like, oh, well, you're pro-choice? That must mean you like killing babies, then, huh? Gotcha. Eh, it's not as simple. Not that simple. I love how I brought up abortion. What a terrible example. But, you know, it, it gets the point across, but, like, damn. And for the record, 
I love killing babies. They're stupid. You know, I almost said fuck babies. <laughs> that, that, that very... I gave a very, how do you say, a very pregnant pause. And I almost said fuck babies. <laughs> fuck them. <sighs> uh. <laughs> he almost ate the key. <laughs> Oh, should I do it? Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to solve the key? Yes, Daddy Trump! Okay, have you guys seen that video of the guy in his car? Surely you've seen this. And he's surrounded by, like, cops who are, like, banging on his windows and, like, trying to get into the car for whatever reason. And he starts praying to Donald Trump. And he's, like, live-streaming this, too. There's, like, chat that's like, Oh my god, is he praying to Donald Trump? And he's like, Donald Trump, save me. Donald Trump, please save me. <laughs> Uh. Damn it. I did break both of the chests at least. I just, I kind of wanted to flex there. And it didn't... It didn't end up being a flex. The punching soy milk is good. By the way, one of the things, I, I kind of, so originally my plan with the, uh, with the Apollo Justice release was, another voice crack, cool. <clears throat> I was going to stream the first one in that trilogy, and then I was going to play the others with Isabelle off stream. Because Ace Attorney games aren't really well suited for streaming, uh... Partially because of, ironically, backseating, uh, <laughs> but also because, you know, they're a visual novel, and it just, I don't know, it would be exhausting, I think, and not the best. Oh, sorry, content. I verped in real life. But, uh, I, there were a bunch of moments that I wish we could have had on stream. Like, Clavier keeps talking about his hog. <laughs> He keeps fucking- he rides a motorcycle, and so he's always like, Ugh, I'm angry because my hog wouldn't start. And I'm like, Pfft. Yeah, I've been there, brother. <laughs> hey, everybody's had a time or two where their hog wouldn't start, right? Nothing to be ashamed of, just guys being dudes. Clavier is good. I kind of have... A, uh, and this is gonna be incredibly boring talk for people who don't know what I'm talking about, but... I had... so going into Apollo Justice, I had some knowledge of... who the characters were, uh, the fact that, like, Ema is in it, for instance, or Emma. I always thought it was supposed to be pronounced Ema, but Bella always calls her Emma. Uh... I knew about, like, some of the characters that were going to appear in it because I had watched a fan case called, uh, Turnabout Jackpot that was quite good. But some of the, you know, it's... In those fan cases, it's amateur voice acting, and it comes across that it's amateur voice acting. And, you know, without wishing to... I don't mean any disrespect to the people who, you know, dedicated their time and their talents to the projects like that, but... Some of the voice acting in those fan cases is, like, not great, and one of them is Clavier, and I had- it, it's been, like, a huge mental struggle to try to separate my, like, mental- like, when I'm playing Apollo Justice and Clavier is speaking and I'm imagining what he sounds like in my head, it's so hard to not think of the shitty voice acting in Turnabout Jackpot, where he just sounds like- Devin from homeroom class, <laughs> you know, rather than a weird European rock star. Uh, I love when he goes, OBJECTION! He kind of has like almost like an Elvis flair, the one voice line or one of the few voice lines you get to hear from him. OBJECTION! I 
I also got jump scared by the ending of Apollo Justice because I didn't realize. Wow, what I've done. <laughs> We've been getting such trash items. Uh, so many drowsy pills, too. Oh, and now I've lost my train of thought. Fuck. Whatever. In the shop? What was in the shop? This? Fucking this? <laughs> One second. A snort. A snort. And I need to drink some water. Oh, I got jump scared by the game ending because I thought it was going to be five cases, not four. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, Clavier, you know, I liked Clavier, actually. Uh, I, I liked him kind of because he was chill. And it was like, okay, we've already done the arc with Edgeworth where he starts out being, like, just a perfectionist and only caring about winning. And he sort of evolves into somebody who really cares about justice. And we've, we've already done that sort of thing, you know? And now we can just have Clavier who just kind of wants to find the truth, like, openly from the beginning. I kind of liked that, honestly. Doesn't this make, yeah, two bombs for one drop? Maybe I should keep that one for now. Uh, have you stopped doing Fiend Folio for now? I'll probably do more of it in the future, but I just, uh, have been on a Vanilla Isaac kick. Fiend Folio can be kind of sensory overload sometimes. So I kind of I kind of need to like space out my streams of it. It's it's a lot. It's extremely goofy. Just like that one movie. Prometheus, I think. Listen, I was scrambling for some random movie that could be perceived as silly, and I think I actually did pretty okay. Really? I was really expecting that to be the one. Cost. Great. The luck has not been fantastic here, and I kind of wish I didn't have this curse, because then I would do the sacrifice room, but whatever. Like, we bought, like, basically everything there is to buy, if not literally everything there is to buy. Let's just go. Okay. But yeah, and I like Apollo and Trucy are both little gremlins, and I love them. They're fucking fantastic. They make a great team. I kind of, you know, I've seen some people accuse the Phoenix Wright or like the Ace Attorney series. I always call it the Phoenix Wright series on accident. Uh, I've heard some people accuse that series of kind of just reusing characters, where it's like, okay, you know, you've got... Maya in the original trilogy, and then she's sort of replaced by Trucy in the Apollo, or in Apollo Justice, and then I don't know what happens for the next two games, but, uh... And then you got Suzato in, uh... The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, you know. But they all, all the assistants, even though they superficially kind of look similar, and have similar sprites, and like, poses, they're different, and they're different enough to be fun, sort of compelling characters on their own, each one. Hmm. Okay, what do we got? Wow. It's dog shit. It's dog shit. It's dog shit. It's not that bad, but... This trinket's actually kind of nice with the, uh, Nancy bombs. Just makes it a higher likelihood to get something crazy. I should think about using them in combat. And it's also like, you could theoretically place a bomb and then, like, move them to be in separate spots, but... I haven't really seen an opportunity to do that yet. Have you played the British one yet? Yeah, that's the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. That one's great as the name might suggest. Bumbo, we're gonna wait to take him, just in case I can re-roll him. It's not that I don't like Bumbo, but it's more that I don't like Bumbo. Literally, Bum Friend is better than Bumbo now. <laughs> like, Bumbo's a very funny item, but he really doesn't do a lot for you. 
Uh, and he, you know, he has a big downside of taking money from you. I kind of want the money for Steam sale type shit. Oh my god. I love when you try to punch an enemy that's like locked down to the ground. You burned my house to the ground! What am I gonna do? Uh, I don't remember what the Empress question mark even does. It said like, may your love know no bounds, and I honestly don't remember which one it is. Can someone, uh, enlighten me? It's been a while since I've asked chat what an item in Isaac does. This is... Wow. Increases health and fire rate, okay. Two temporary red hearts basically cheese a devil deal. Really? Tainted Maggie effect. What the fuck? Why do I feel like I have no memory of this? Hmm. Okay. Well, we got an angel room. Let's see what we got. Oh, damage up is nice. 0.19, baby. That's not great. But it's not terrible. I should maybe just bomb this guy. Eh. Biff. Biff. Boosh. Gotta be real careful about these fires, too. Okay. Oh! Okay. Whatever. <sighs> I don't want that trinky. Yeah, right? It's a pretty good synergy, that, that trinket with Nancy Bombs. Isabel came up with an idea for a, a new character, a new playable character in Isaac. It's a character that cannot get active items at all, and starts off with like a gulped no trinket. Or just like some special property that means that you never come across active items whatsoever. It could be cool. I don't remember what the last pill was. Retrovision, great. Now we're gonna wait to do that secret. For just a moment. So in the wake of Venture Brothers, I think Isabel and I are gonna do Squidbillies next. It's basically the same show. Just better, you know? And there's something like- there's like over a hundred episodes of Squidbillies. Did you guys know this? There's like a hundred and twenty-five episodes or some shit. It's fucking nuts. Ugh. This is awesome. You burned my house to the ground! Ah! Oh, okay. You know what? It's better than motherfucking blood rites. Oh. It's longer than Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That's so funny. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, is, is it over? Did it end kind of recently, or am I misremembering? Was it, like, part of the slew of things that, like, got a movie? Like, a Mercy movie from Adult Swim? Like, Metalocalypse. Okay. You know, Botfly is, of course, great, but I'm really looking for something aggressive here. Yep. I will not pass up Spoonbender. 
a classic Poggers item. Classically Pogged. Can those break that? Nice. <sighs> My family's dead! They're all dead! Oh. Little bit of lag. Nothing to see here, folks. Fuck, maybe I should have saved the um heart charge and done the sword room. Mmm. There's nothing left in here. Pretty sure. I guess I'll take Bumbo. Fuck it. Bumbo, you can just get all the out of reach coins. That's always what I say as a copium, and then he always ends up stealing a bunch of my shit anyway. I'm not gonna fuck with the red sword room. We're too... We're too fragile right now. My sister started watching, uh... <laughs> the Sopranos recently. And it's been a good excuse to talk, talk shop, talk Sopranos with her a bit. Uh, what a great show. It's really fun to have somebody else going through. Whoa, plus 3.33 tiers? God motherfucking damn! I just had an increase in tiers comparable to larger than the tier cap in its entirety. But it's been fun having somebody, uh, she just got to the episode College, which is what a lot of people consider to be the first, like, really great episode of the show. And, uh, she was like, holy shit, that episode was good. I was like, right? Yeah, at the beginning of the series, when, when she said that she was going to watch it, I was like, oh, I can't wait for you to meet Polly. And she was like, is he the Gabagool guy? <laughs> I was like... They're all the Gabagool guy. I think Tony really is the Gabagool guy. He has the most association with Gabagool. Which, by the way, I don't know if uh, many of you know this. Gabagool is a, like, bastardized Italian-American slang for capicola, which is a spiced ham. It's a deli meat. So if you've ever wondered what the fuck a gabagool is, god damn it, that hand is so confused. Stop! <laughs> Stop! You burn my house to the ground! Please let me hurt you. This is. This is hell. I'm in hell. I just heard it thump off screen. I'm in hell. Please. Die. Ugh. The punch drops kept fucking with it. A little bit of punch cabozo action. Yeah, that's a reference to the Street Fighter 1 credits. What of it? Spoonbender really makes soy milk a ton better. Ugh. Because a lot of the issue with Spoonbender, or with soy milk, is just that... Like, you got super high tier rate, but, like, not all of your shots are gonna hit. Just from the Gatling gun nature of it. Ow. Oh! Oh, God. Should I, should I swallow the key? Should I, should, I, should I fucking swallow the key? What do you guys think? Uh, do I swallow the key? Everybody? Because I really have no idea what this would do. Because... Uh, don't... They fixed it. I don't even know what they fixed. I know they changed Libra. I think we don't. I think, unfortunately, we don't. I think it actually will not be funny. I think it will just be cringe if I do that. And I, I'm actually kind of enjoying the crazy shots of... Soy milk, too. I never was super experienced on Libra. I never, like, took it much when it was in its heyday. So I'm not even really familiar with, like, what was fucked up about it or what was broken about it and what may or may not may not have got fixed. But I think, I think I'm gonna take a lot of Chatter's advice and just not take it right now, because 
I, I enjoy the crazy high fire rate. And Libra, a lot of times, even if it's good, it's just kind of dull. Oh. It's making yourself have, like, average-ass stats. <clears throat> yeah, soy milk is a damage multiplier down, so you would have lower tiers and still have low damage. See, that's a good point. That checks out to me. You know what? Scatter bomb, perfect. And the glitter bomb made another bomb. I was just thinking maybe there's a crawl space or something. I might as well check. There's a ton of rocks. Cool. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. What floor are we on? Depths one. Let's just fight. So good. Homing shots, they've been goaded since day one of Flash Isaac. They will never fail to give me happy brain chemicals. Excuse me! Fucking hell, mate! <laughs> yeah, right chuffed! I'll take the wafer. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass that up. Oh my god, just beat him into the fire. That's awesome. Where's my fucking money? You burned my house to the ground. My family's dead. Okay, show creature? Someone just added me with the words show creature? Question mark? Uh, no, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll show, I'll show some creature. I won't show him right now. He's sleeping right now uh one second one second well you uh, you give you guys a picture i don't want to bug him and i don't have the webcam set up right now because i've got the fucking gamecube controller plugged in here he is sleeping the other day and look at his little dumb leg sticking out <laughs> Look at his cute little dumb leg. Uh, I love him so. He's <laughs> so cute, Pete. <laughs> He's so sleepy. Anyway, there's your little uh, there's your little roach cam for today, La Creatura. Yeah, he does eat his own house. We call him Porch a lot because he loves to chew on his porch. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I walked right past the shop. God damn, okay. Let's go up there. It's because it was a big room. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, I have to buy it just for sillies. Oh, I love portable slot. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, should I swallow the key? Should I swallow the key, everybody? God damn. Let's check what this is. Joker, cool. Uh. You used a song called Dinner for One in a Twitch Scraps video a while back, and I'm now obsessed with the band that wrote it. How did you even find them? That's like boom, doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. That's like kind of like gypsy. Uh, it's I, I'd swear. I, okay, that's a distasteful term to say nowadays, but the genre of music is called like gypsy rock or something like that. Or gypsy jazz. I think I know the song you're talking about. Da 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 da. Yeah, Shilana Gig is the name of the band. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I don't know how I found them. I want to say maybe somebody used that as a song in the background of a YouTube video, <laughs> ironically. Uh, you know what? Let's get cursed. Let's get Black Candle because it actually does something because curses are on. 
What's the racist genre of music called again? That is so funny because I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about Exotica. Which is the era of American music where a bunch of classical composers, uh, or some classical composers, took inspiration. They basically like gentrified tribal music, like African tribal music, and like mixed it with uh, classical and like lounge kind of music. And uh, it's extremely racist, but you gotta, unfortunately, this is a situation. You don't always gotta hand it to them, but you do gotta hand it to them. There were some bangers in the racist, uh, in, in the overall quite racist genre of exotica music. <laughs> Somebody said, wow, that's not good. <laughs> oh God. They, unfortunately, I do gotta hand it to them to a certain degree. They created some bangers. He loves racism. Yeah, that's really the main takeaway here. Okay, this was nothing. I guess I'll just go. Yeah, colonial fruit. This is the fuck babies I love racism stream. <laughs> Oh no, Bombo, you. I love how I punched one of those hearts out of the middle there. It's not even really kind of supposed to happen. It can happen though, things squeeze out of there. Uh, you know what, I have the wafer, I'm inclined to do this. I always do the hem and hem and at the wrong time. No matter how many times I fucking play this game, I never get the hem and hem and on the right time. Okay. Now, Angel. We'll just kill him for sport, I guess. I don't think he'll even drop anything or give us a room reward, but it's the sporting thing to do. Oh god, Bumbo, no. Bumbo, I need to, like, run around and just, like, cut him off at every turn. <laughs> okay. Somebody said the hum a num a num a num feels randomized sometimes. That would be a great way for the developers to fuck with me. Is randomized hum a num a num a nums. Oh, damn it, there's a sword room there. Whatever. Guess we're just not really doing those this run, I don't know. It's one of those ones where health is just a little too precious. Come on, no. I don't even know why I did that, because we know the secret room is above me. I have the blue map. Uh, to this day, I still don't understand what you're supposed to do to not take damage in that room. Because when you enter a room <clears throat> with obstacles like that, a little exploit that you can do is they don't move for a few seconds after you've entered the room. There's like a buffer period, right? But if you're below a certain speed, in this room, especially considering the thing in the middle, it's just, like, impossible to run across fast enough to not get hit by those. I guess, like, just walk in front of them and activate them and wait for them, like, just run, sprint past the first two rows, and then the final row kind of, like, bait it out, you know? It's, uh, it's a bad room. I'm not a big fan of that room, but I guess thinking about it now, I do understand <clears throat> what you can do to win there, but it's very stressful.
Cool. Very cool. We're gonna get so many wacky effects. The other day, you know those, like, eye enemies that shoot a big pillar of light up into the sky and then it's basically like a crack the sky effect that, like, comes down on you? Uh... I don't know why I bought that. If you freeze them while they're shooting their beam of light up into the sky, uh... they will... The light freezes, too, and it looks really funny, is all. Okay, I'll take that. That's just a heart container for seven cents at the cost. For seven cents and a soul heart, I guess. I'm sorry, my fucking... I'm having phlegm issues again. Take a drink. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. We're fine now. We're, we're genuinely fine. Oh, great. We're just gonna be a bit of an ass. Ah, oh, no, our damage is good enough. And now there's a card. For a second, I thought you were Flemish. No, I'm a Flemoid from Chex Quest. Wasn't there recently a game called, like, Zorch or something? There was like a boomer shooter that was made that was called Zorch, but no relation to Chex Quest Zorch, right? Fuck. I activated the clown. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Cool. Don't pick up the strength card, you cock. Oh, my hog won't start. Okay, I see the load in there. <laughs> load. So funny. That's cool. Map, compass, and blue map. You don't see that every day. It's just, you know. Oh! What even dropped a bomb? What? What? Oh, Bumbo, you! Bumbo, you! No, you don't get these, Bumbo. You don't get to have those. We're on Necropolis 2. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Well, if we can get that, that's cool. But chances are low. Oh, nice. And it blows up. Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's a Tinty here, too. Nice. Very, very cool. <clears throat> that 0.29 damage is actually genuinely gonna come in clutch, I think. Can't have that... Fool... That's what, a joker? <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> Barely. With 0.95 speed, which I believe is below the standard starting speed. But that's also after I bombed the skull in the middle. I was able to barely make it. Okay. <sighs> oh, I don't have any money at all. Wow. <clears throat> Bumbo, you burned my house to the ground. And now you're gonna die.
All right, whatever. I'll just keep this. God, Bumbo. Somebody said that he was trying to unstick the sticky nickel. I don't even know if that was a sticky nickel. I didn't really register it if it was. But that's funny if true. I don't know, I think sometimes he just calculates the best moment that a bomb would fuck with you. And throws one out. That's genuinely how it feels sometimes. Ah! Oh my god, Bumbo, please. It was actually the spider that was underneath Bumbo. Alright, let's go up. <clears throat> Again, I'm feeling boring, sorry. Yep. That'll do. Oh my god, look at our cool tears now. Holy shit. So cool. Wow. Did you just take a big step to unstick your nickel? Your nickel. You know what? Let's try to blow that one off. Nice. Yeah, let's just blow it off, you know. No, Bumbo. No. No, David. <laughs> I saw something that somebody posted, like, essential male literature, and one of them was No, David. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about that. I want to see, like, Because of Winn-Dixie on there or something. <laughs> you guys remember Because of Winn-Dixie? Oh, this dog sure love peanut butter. I want to say the author of Because of Winn-Dixie came to my school or something in elementary school. I, maybe I'm wrong. There was, guys, what was the, there was a book about, like, a little girl gets, like, kidnapped by an ice cream guy. It, I think it's called Someone Was Watching, was the name of it. And it was, like, a cautionary tale about, like, child abduction that you're supposed to show to kids, essentially. And I remember it was like, it was a, it was a, it was a children's book that was like sort of a, you know, it was like a, it was for like sixth graders and shit. That was like a cautionary tale about, uh, kidnapping. <clears throat> and there was a movie version of it, and the star of the movie came to our school and like did a talk at one point. I, I, that's all I remember. Maybe the guy who played the character in the movie also, like, wrote the book or something? Oh my god, there were, like, four super troll bombs in there. Look at our health. This converter is doing great. I don't know, didn't y'all read Bridge to Terabithia? A kid fucking dies in that one. People are saying this is, like, too fucked up. I mean, I'm not here to defend what literature they were showing me in elementary school, but... Do you read some fucked up stuff then? Like, uh, I don't know. Oh. You know, this kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. Uh, I remember seeing a commercial for a movie called The Lovely Bones. That is about, that, that is, like, about all sorts of fucked up things that is about a young girl that gets kidnapped. But the trailer made it seem like it was like a fantastical imagination adventure. Like, if you look at the trailer, she's like, oh yeah, I'm in the upside down or something. And she's like, I'm in the in-between zone. And it's a place where all my imagination comes to life. And I was, as a kid, I was like, oh, this looks badass. You know, I want to watch this. And my mom was like, no, you are not watching that. 
because it is actually a, like, terrifying horror book. <laughs> and the movie, the trailer for the movie was just extremely weird. But as a kid, I was like, oh, wow, so cool! See, like, the trailer. Great speed. You know what? I complained a lot at the beginning of this run, but we're now sitting pretty, I think. I feel like this is a build that can at least carry us through Mega Satan. It's like, it's not gonna crush Mega Satan, but we'll win. The movie actually does play it like that. That's funny. Because my mom said the book was extremely fucked up. Okay, well, she probably didn't use the term fucked up, but, you know. Oh. Yeah, example one million of why you don't hit the R key, yeah. Yeah, never give up, you know? It's an inspiring tale, the Binding of Isaac. You can start off with terrible items and still persevere. Because then it's like, oh, well, there's one shitty item that I'm guaranteed not to find. Except that didn't really happen with the fucking... <laughs> uh, portable slot, but whatever. Let's not actually juice. <laughs> Excuse me, there's no point, and uh, I want to keep my damage bonus. For having full hearth. Yeah, what other- it's- so every once in a while I just have a stream where I just talk about all the fucked up things. I don't think I- I don't think it ever really happens in a way that's, like, distressing, though, right? Are my streams ever distressingly, like, talking about foul topics? Bumbo tried to get that coin, but he was confused. The fire stopped him. He's too dumb. It's chill. I'm, I hope that it's chill. That is my hope. Let's get that super secret. Whatever. This could be awesome. Lodestone is really doing a lot of work here. One thing about soy milk is tier-based... Oh, nice. That Tinty's just gonna get yeeted. One thing about luck-based tier effects is that, uh... Soy milk does very well with them. Uh, probably not going to get a payout. They're guaranteed to pay out after the sixth one. Fun fact. So if if you go. If you give a guy five coins and you only got one coin left and you're thinking, Oh, I don't want to give him my last coin, he's just gonna suck it up. Give it to him, because he's guaranteed to pay out on the sixth. If he hasn't- if he hasn't paid out five times in a row, he's guaranteed to do it on the next one. <clears throat> Bumbo, you're fucking useless. You suck so much. Yeah, our damage is not exactly killer, even with the <clears throat> crown of light. Oh, ah, yeah, 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 whoa. Slow down, Hoss. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Hmm. Another one? Do you think? Thing is, I have no idea where Genesis would, like, put me. Would it make me go up or down? Or would it make me go to fucking Delirium? <laughs> uh, it, or here's really, I think, the best option is go to the Delirium floor right now and then get a bunch of items from bosses that we can confirm are not Delirium and then use Genesis right before Delirium. I want to do that. I've decided. 
I will not be taking your requests at this time. We're, we're gonna get rid of Bumbo. Oh, wait. By the way, one of those semi-frequent Isaac Facts things was that there is a room in the scarred womb, or maybe it's just a womb layout, generally. I forget if they're... Oh. This is gonna be crazy. I forget if room layouts are specific to, like, alt versions of floors or whatever. But, uh... There's a room with... Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. I think we gotta use... I think we gotta use Genesis right away. Oh, hi, hon. Isabel's back from cards. And just heard me yelling, presumably. I just deleted the map on the first room of Delirium's floor. <laughs> uh... Use it if you run into Delirium, that's actually pretty smart, I feel like. I'll be done in just a bit and then we can play, we can play Ace Attorney. You hungry? Yeah, we can get food. What did you get? Oh, you got shoes! Hell yeah! Yeah, Isabel got cool new oh, shoes. This is something I wanted to tell your chest. Oh. What? Come, come close, come close. When I was driving on the highway, I saw a giant head of Mike Ermintrout <laughs> in black and white, just nailed to a tree. That's awesome. <laughs> Kid named Finger? Finger was just on a tree. Why? That's so odd. Where was this? Uh, somewhere between. Like the near. Center, center Mall and Bellevue. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Well, that's awesome, hun. What the fuck is that? <laughs> is that fucking finger? <laughs> that's amazing. It was like huge too. It was like Walter, they decapitated me, Walter. Walter, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna drive down to Bellevue, and you're gonna forget this ever happened. That's more of a Gino voice. <clears throat> um, Gino Fratelli, by the way. Oh, nice. Another thing to turn into another thing. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. At least. It sounds like it was awesome. How was cards? Nice. You won the whole thing? I'm the best. Whoa. That's awesome. Were you playing Forest? No. You were doing Uma? Yeah, I was playing. Nice. There's a set in Shadowverse Evolve that is based on Uma Musume. Am I saying that right? Pretty derby. The the horse girl anime. Okay, let's just see what's what's my damage like. Okay, I'm gonna leave, and we're gonna make a nicer build. Whoa, why do I have Pluto? Oh, cause I Genesis reset the Eden run, and I got a different starting thing, and it was a planetarium item. That's crazy. Okay, well before I get any heart containers, let's rest in the bed. The Gabagool guy? <laughs> it's a reference to something earlier in the stream. Uh, talking about the Sopranos. Oh man, moving box. How would that even work? Oh, haunts. Haunts amnesia? Really? Wow, okay. I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's grab this. Ooh, tech. A cornerstone of any crazy build. Or of many crazy builds. Um... <sighs> I guess I'll take that, whatever. Ooh. Why did you take the fight? Please. I don't know. I forgot. I'm about to fight Delirium. Uh... I guess I'll take this. Oh. Tech plus Tech X. I don't even really know what that would do, but I'm curious. Oh! Oh, yeah! Laser laser. That's cool. I guess I'll take the tears up. I guess I'll take the damage up. Spin down. 
Okay, if we see toothpicks, if we see literally toothpicks and, like, nothing else, I will spin it down. Because that's the only one I have memorized. What did you get? Oh, cool! I New... Need, I needed free shipping and this was the best option. Wow. Four of these. Uh, Shu has new pumice lava ledges for his cage. So he's gonna have new little things to hop around on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Guess I'll take this. It's kind of an annoying item, but not when you have a charge ability. Okay, maybe we'll get conjoined. I'll take this. Proptosis! No. Oh, go bombs! No, let's take this, it would be hilarious. Mmm, take the speed. What is this gonna give me? Damage? Really? Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Botfly spins into death certificate. Okay. And Lil Abaddon is C-section. I mean, I, of course, I'm probably gonna miss a bunch of cool spin downs here. We're just gonna all have to accept that. Okay, I'll take this. What is that exactly going to even do? <laughs> okay. No. Take that. Okay, and then just normal reroll. Huh. That actually did give me tears. Cool. Take that. Moldy bread. Talk about the Isaac fact? Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have trailed off. Uh, there is a room in the womb, or the scarred womb, that has a version of the boss Chubb. And normally Chubb is a little worm that's made out of three different segments, but there's one that just has him as two segmented for some reason. Which is uh, kind of hilarious. And I found that room both in the actual womb and in the delirium floor, which is kind of funny. Uh, bum friend, poggers. Buddy in a box, poggers. Damage up, poggers. Uh, I guess I'll take the damage up. Oh, stopwatch and broken stopwatch, great. Oh, oh but there's a baby though. I think, honestly, Jacob's Ladder wouldn't do too much with this build anyway. I mean, it would do great with Conjoined, but this is Conjoined. But I might have a chance to get Conjoined later. What do you think? Do I take the baby or do I take, uh, I have two Conjoined counts. Or do I take Jacob's Ladder? Yeah, I know you're very Conjoined-pilled. Yeah, that's a hard one. Yeah. A lot of people are saying the latter because there's a ton of babies, and I'm kind of inclined to believe them, though. And there's a bunch of people saying babies. Somebody said fuck babies. That's cool. Uh, yeah, my shot speed is really high. That's true. It's unfortunate. I don't know. Listen, I love you very much, hun, but I'm going to take... Oh, wow, and that was the last thing! <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Oh my god, wow. The worst option. Whatever. Well, you know, you live and you learn. You, you... You shit and you forget. Oh, but I still have to find Delirium. Oh, he was like this way, right? Oh, sweet lord. He was actually... We found him pretty fast, I feel like. What's this? Poop. No. Is this it? This is it. Okay. We're just gonna try. My build's not even that good, but these rings are pretty cool. And the and the tear rate. Oh, there's water on the Is that gonna help? It helps the chicken Doesn't really see oh yeah, maybe it is doing something? Yeah, I don't know. I wonder, you know how sometimes it goes like and like statics out and it like changes the arena? I wonder if it could remove the water doing that. I think it probably could. 
you know, in Dark Souls, there's a spell. Don't laugh! There's a spell. Bella loves Dark Souls and Half-Life Fact. Uh, there's a lightning spell that if you aim it at the ground, it has like a super niche functionality when there's water on the ground where it like sends out like ripples of electricity. It's really cool. But like nobody knows about it because you usually throw lightning bolts at people and not at the ground. Those are uh, Gwyn's mighty bolts which peeled apart the stone scales of the everlasting dragons that existed before the Age of the Gods. Uh, she's leaving. She's walking away. <laughs> Why are you leaving? Don't do that! So I bet after this... Oh, there's two of them. Very cool. Oh, look. Jacob's Ladder's kind of doing something when there's multiple enemies. Uh... We're probably gonna set up some cool... Very colorful pumice steps for Shu's cage, which hopefully don't confuse him too much. Sometimes when we change the level design of his cage, he becomes confused and like tries to make jumps that were not that are not possible anymore, and like slams his face into the wall. Yeah, we also don't have to use all of them. Well, this is kind of a dull what. The Fuck, Delirium. <laughs> this is kind of a dull Delirium victory, but I think we'll, we'll probably take the dub here. Anything like this with, like, a lot of range is usually going to do pretty well. Just staying far fucking away from Delirium is... usually a good strategy. Oh my god, look at him go. <laughs> they collided. So yeah, if anybody was here for Bickman, we'll probably do that on Tuesday in it instead. What day are you flying out, hon? Thursday, goddamn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, send me the flight details and shit so I can pick you up. Anybody who did not uh, hear last time I said this, Isabel topped at Nationals for Shadowverse Evolve, which is a card game, and uh, is now going to Internationals in Japan. Which is fucking nuts! And she had to rush a passport. She didn't have a passport before now. This whole thing kind of came out of the blue. It's funny, all the card game events that we've been, or that, like, we went to one together last night that was just, like, a small local thing, and, uh, or maybe that was a couple days ago? Yeah. Uh, it was, like, everybody there was, like, well, we're playing against the girl who <laughs> topped at Nationals, so better just give up, and then she went 0-3 or lost all three games. <laughs> she was playing a different deck, though. All right, and then the event that she just went to now, she also dominated, which is very cool. Did you guys, what, what the fuck was that? There were like weird lines on the side of, in the bottom of the screen there for a second. Maybe I've just never noticed that. Maybe that's always been there. Kind of felt like a little glitch, like a little rendering glitch or something. Okay, well that was plenty. That was a nice, hefty two and a half hour stream where I said, fuck babies and racism is great. So, you know, classic standard Isaac stuff. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys got a kick out of that. That was a fun little session. And uh, we will do Bickman Finale on Tuesday. That is the tentative plan. Pencil it into your pocketbook or whatever. Your pocketbook is like your checkbook, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but, uh... Let's go raid somebody. Put a picture of shoe again. The honk shoe. Uh. Are we raiding anybody streaming Mo Selena? No.
Oh my god, he's awesome. Isabel's showing me the Kirby. There's a guy in a Kirby suit at a game show. How does that mascot costume even work? You want to talk about Toad? Yeah. What about this one? <laughs> Nobody's doing Mosolina. I saw that Mona Lisa was trending on Twitter today, and I got really excited for like half a second, and then I was like, oh. It's the painting. Somebody like threw fucking soup at the painting. It was disappointing. Uh, but the painting's fine, by the way, because it turns out they put glass in front of it, I think. Retro Games TAS Marathon. Is this a TAS of Wario Land 2? Huh. Yeah, let's go raid a TAS of Wario Land 2. Game's awesome. Slash raid. Retro long play. Fuck it. Uh, alright. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Go have fun watching a Tass of Wario Land 2, which is a cool game. Man, I wish there would be really... It would be really good to have, like, a nice involved remake of, like, the whole Wario Land series. Except for 4. 4 is great. And I don't know about Smooth Moves, or not Smooth Moves, Shake It. But... What a crazy series. It would be there's just a few things about them that are dated that are kind of holding them back, but they're so cool. They're really interesting games. They all it's it's crazy how they all kind of tried very unique weird gimmicks to them. It's it's surprising how ambitious this series is. So, let's go watch a task of that. I hope you got a kick out of the stream. I'll see you later. I love you all. Bye.